disputed issue. John, Kieran, since Sarah Palin has joined the ticket, one story has circulated widely on the blogs and in the mainstream media that when she was mayor, her town of Wasilla refused to pay the cost of rape exams. Her critics call it outrageous. Her supporters say it's a myth. We took a closer look. Multiple sources tell CNN when Sarah Palin was mayor of Wasilla, her police department charged some rape victims the cost of the forensic exam they get after an attack. Her police chief said it was not a cost the town should bear. Eric Croft, then a Democrat in the state legislature, sponsored a bill to force Wasilla to pay. I mean, it was just one of those things that everybody could agree on except Wasilla. We couldn't convince the chief of police there to stop charging them. And so I introduced a bill in January in the legislature to prohibit that. Experts testified that charging rape victims was incomprehensible, comparing the exam to dusting for fingerprints. Only the victim's body is the crime scene. I mean, having a victim have to pay then for their exam is just, you know, re-traumatizes them. At the time, some other small Alaska cities also charged rape victims. This woman says she was billed by a city hundreds of miles from Wasilla. But Mayor Palin's city stood out. What I recall is that the chief of police in uh, Wasilla, Wasilla PD seemed to be the most vocal about how it was going to affect their budget. After the bill passed unanimously, Wasilla's police chief Charlie Fannin said it would cost the city five to $14,000 a year. And he objected, saying, I just don't want to see any more burden put on the taxpayer. Judy Patrick was Palin's deputy and a friend. The bigger picture of what was going on at that time was that the state was trying to cut their own budget. And one of the things that they were doing was passing on costs to cities. And that was one of the many things that they were passing on the cost to the city. She doesn't recall the issue coming before city council. And we found no record that Palin was aware her city was charging rape victims. The McCain campaign says Palin has never believed rape victims should have to pay for an evidence gathering test and to imply she did is an utter distortion of reality. Those who fought the policy are unconvinced. I find it hard to believe that for six months in a small town, a police chief would lead a fight against a statewide piece of legislation receiving unanimous support and the mayor not know about it. Though Croft admits he can't recall discussing the issue with Palin. The rape kit charges have become an issue among Palin's critics because some say as governor she has done little to combat Alaska's epidemic problem of violence against women. For years, Alaska has had the worst record of any state in rape and murder of women by men. For the record, as governor, Sarah Palin approved a funding increase for domestic violence shelters and reauthorized a council on domestic violence and sexual assault. But this year, that council found some of Alaska's programs responding to violence against women remain underfunded. Other cities around the country also once billed women for the cost of their rape exams. But now that practice is rare. To qualify for funding under the Violence Against Women Act, Law enforcement agencies now must pick up that cost. John, Kieran. Our Jessica